Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I'm here with another happy mail. This is from Amanda. She's iMandy on YouTube. Um, her and I text each other all the time and I had mentioned to her a while back that I didn't have a lot of the new Prima papers and I'm pretty sure these are not new anymore because there's new ones out since then. But she was generous enough to share some of her papers with me. And she also sent me um, a few little goodies. So I wanted to share them with you. The first thing she um, did is she created this card. And she did a video on it as well. Using the um, Prima stamp. And um, she also used a lot of ooh -la -la goodness. Because she buys my kits. And she used some of the um, items from some of my different kits. But she added some real pretty lace here in the corner. And some rick rack right here and a vintage um, piece of wedding trim and a key and on top of the key she added this bling it's really cute and a butter um, a bird and then there's some lace underneath the bird there and this is a flower that she has here with a little piece of bling and then she put some um, of these sticky rhinestones here in the corner and then she put a little sequin here in her hair. It's really cute. I like how she made this card. It's um, on a piece of chipboard. And then she wrote a nice little um, birthday note for me. So she sent that to me as well. And then she also made this cute little bag. It's one of those little tiny uh, muslin bags. And it has the drawstring on it. And um, <clears throat> a couple of a couple years ago I created a Tussy Mussy kit and I made this flower right here and so she gifted it back to me on this canvas piece here so this muslin so that's um, just a piece of um, this is wallpaper and then a, just a piece of paper and some lace and a flower right there and then she layered it up with some lace and some sequin trim in the corner really pretty and some rhinestone trim as well so that's what she made for me <clears throat> and then she also made this stick pin holder out of a piece of, uh, this is a plastic container that I put my beads in at one time from the Tussie Mussy kit so what she did is she stuck some um, foam down inside of there and made a little stick pin holder and used some of this pretty um, fabric and glued it on to the um, to this can uh, it's a plastic container um, so you can see it's like an acrylic container it's a rectangle one see the acrylic right there and then she created some stick pins with some ooh la la goodness as well these are some of the kits that she purchased so let me show you this one this one is um right here it's a three pearl stick pin with um, this trim right here and added some pearls a button another um, pearl here and an ooh-la-la -la carnation flower there so that came out really cute and then she also um, made another one and this is with a button and a crystal more um, crystal beads pearls and crystals so that's the second one she made and each one is really different and unique how she added all these different things to it there's one with a crystal at the top and she added the butterfly and all these different beads I believe this is from um, my Midnight in Paris kit I'm not sure um, she's purchased a few of my kits and I don't know which one she used here so this is another one here with a flower and some pearls and crystals really cute and another one here with um, buttons and pearls really cute I love how she does her stick pins Amanda you're really good at making stick pins I like them okay and here's another one and I love this little dangle um, when I included it in the kit I thought it'd be perfect for a stick pin and that's exactly what she did was put it on the stick pin so that's just a tiny little um, brown colored stick pin there and I'll show you that again this is how it looks and then they stick inside of this thing here all the pretty little stick pins so I can use these on some of my projects so now I'm going to show you the paper and she packaged it really cute in these little um, brown craft bags and then she put a little note which paper it was so this is the divine paper and they're in the A4 sheets 
a four size. So I, um, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this paper because I don't have it. So, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'll take the time to show it to you until if you want to speed through the video and you don't want to watch this part, that's okay. Okay, but I have not even really um, been looking into this type of paper lately, so really cute paper though. I like these tag sheets too. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly. Those are all the same print. Cute. Angels. I like this one. It's got a lot of detail on it. The bird. Really cute. This one too. And this one. like that in the corner, that little car. There's that one. Oh, my mind's going crazy with all these pretty papers. Okay, so that's the Divine. And the next one is um, the Fairy Collection. Fairy Rhymes, I believe it is. Fairy Rhymes has um, got a lot of whimsical prints in it. There we go. So there's that one. This one. Really pretty. All the papers um, in this collection are just absolutely gorgeous. And they all kind of coordinate together, too. Each collection goes with the other collections. I could see mix and matching them together to make different projects. Very pretty. I love the pinks that they have a lot of pink in here. Pink is my favorite. That's really pretty. I like those. So thank you, Amanda, for sharing these papers with me. I can't wait to see your projects, what you make with them, too. Okay, so this is the Lyric Collection. I'll show you that one. This one, oh, these are pretty. Look at the peach color in that. That is really pretty. This is like, I guess, black and peach. Pretty. Wow. I really like these A4 um, sheets because you get a lot of detail in them. Very nice. There's that one. This is cute. Nice words. This looks like a burlap. Prima papers are excellent too because they're really thick and they're great for your projects, especially your altered art projects. Very nice. All right, this is beautiful paper. Thank you, Amanda. This is amazing. I love this paper. And then the last one is called Delight, and she also shared with me um, the 6x6 and the A4, but I'm going to show you the A4 because it's a little bit bigger, so... This one just looks like clouds. This is really cute. Let me see this is upside down here. Sorry about that. Oh, I love these colors too. It's perfect. I'm working on some baby um, items for some friends. So this would be perfect for that. Got the mint green in there and the yellows. Love that one too, that's pretty. Really, really pretty papers. And these frames are adorable. So, Amanda, thank you so, so much for sharing these papers with me. And I am going to be making some projects and sharing them with you guys. And I will be bringing back some more um more videos and I've got the uh, swap to show you so I'll be back real soon you guys thank you for watching bye everyone